Hey what's up YouTube, welcome to another video by Trending Reviews. So I have the brand new Huawei P20 Pro and I'm going to be giving you a quick comparison with my Galaxy S9 Plus. So I just wanted to see which phone is better, um, I've been using both for a couple of days now side by side and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the features so you can get a quick overview of seeing what are the differences between these two phones and which ones are the better choice. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so in terms of the body, let's have a look at the dimensions. The S9 Plus is 158mm in height, whereas the P20 Pro is 155mm. The depth, the S9 Plus is a little bit more with 8.5mm depth and the P20 Pro is 7.8mm. So it's not too far off from each other, so almost very similar sizes. Now the S9 Plus is IP68 dust proof and it's water resistant to 1.5m for about half an hour. The P20 Pro however is IP67 dust proof and it's water resistant only to 1 meter up to half an hour. So the Samsung definitely wins on that part. Now in terms of the NFC, Samsung has a Samsung Pay option. Now you can use that very easily set up with your bank account. Whereas the Huawei P20, it does have Huawei Pay but it's not yet finalized and you can't really use it. If you do use wireless payments from your phone, I don't think the Huawei is the right option at the moment. So the S9 definitely wins in that part. Looking at the display, the S9 Plus comes with Super AMOLED display, whereas the P20 Pro is only AMOLED display. Now there's a bit of debate between what the differences are between each other, because essentially they're the same brand. AMOLED is exactly the same in every other Android phone that markets as an AMOLED display screen. Whereas Samsung have added their own branding on top of that called Super AMOLED, which basically allows them to make the screen 20% brighter with 20% less power consumed and it gives you 80% less sunlight reflection so the S9 Plus wins on that part again. And in terms of the screen size, what you get for the edge to edge displays, the S9 Plus gives you a total of 6.2 inches of screen whereas the P20 Pro gives you 6.1 inches of screen. And finally in terms of the display, the Samsung S9 Plus is giving you a resolution of 1440p by 2960 pixels which is basically wide quality high definition plus or WKHD plus whereas the P20 Pro comes with 1080 by 2244 pixels which is full HD plus and that is over a 408 ppi density whereas the S9 Plus has a 529 ppi density so the S9 screen is far better than the P20 Pro. Looking at the memory the S9 Plus gives you 64, 128 and 256 gigabyte models and it gives you an option to expand up to 400 gigabytes via a micro SD card whereas the P20 Pro is not expandable storage and it only comes in a 120 gigabyte model at the moment. Now both phones come with 6 gigabytes of RAM and the speed is almost identical whereas I've been playing with a couple of apps and I've seen that the Samsung is faster opening up a few games, a couple of social networking apps and then the P20 Pro is faster in opening up various other apps as well so it's a bit of a hit and miss but roughly around the same speed. In terms of the battery, the S9 Plus comes with 3500 milliamp hours and the P20 Pro comes with 4000 milliamp hours so it gives you a bit of a longer battery life. That all depends on how much you consume the phone, how many apps you've got installed and so on so the P20 Pro wins on that part. In terms of the fingerprint scanner, the S9 Plus has it in the back or in the middle it also has an iris scanner as well as an additional feature to unlock your phone whereas the P20 Pro has a fingerprint on the front as a physical hard button and we found that before in previous Samsung phones as well but this is uh, something that Huawei has chosen to go for so it's your personal preference do you prefer it in the back or do you prefer it in the front in terms of the audio there's a 3.5mm headphone jack on the S9 Plus although there's no headphone jack on the P20 Pro in addition it gives you the Samsung gives you 32 bit and 384 kHz of audio output with uh, surround sound quality whereas the P20 Pro gives you only 24 bits with 192 kHz of audio output so the Samsung definitely wins on that part. Now looking at the cameras the S9 Plus comes with a dual 12 megapixel rear camera with a 1.5 to 2.4 aperture with a changing lens and it has optical image stabilization and up to two times optical zoom for the P20 Pro it comes with a triple rear camera setup with 40 megapixel being the primary camera which gives you up to 1.8 f-stop aperture 
The second camera in the back is a 20 megapixel 1.6 aperture camera and the third one is a 8 megapixel lens with 2.4 aperture lens. But it also gives you optical image stabilization and three times optical zoom. In terms of the specs, the P20 Pro has a far better camera quality than the hardware on the S9 Plus. In terms of the video recording, the S9 Plus can record 2160p at 60 frames per second, 1080p at 240 frames per second, and 720p at a huge 960 frames per second. Now, the P20 Pro, it records 2160p at 30 frames per second, which is half of what the S9 Plus does. It does 1080p at 240 frames per second, which is the same as the Samsung, and also 720p at 960 frames per second as well, very similar to the Samsung as well. So overall, I think the S9 Plus gives you better video recording options there. In terms of the front camera, the Samsung comes with a 8 megapixel front camera, which has 1.7 aperture, and it does video recording at 1440p resolution at 30 frames per second. The P20 Pro comes with a huge 24 megapixel front camera with 2.0 aperture, 1080p at 30 frames per second as well. In terms of the prices, the S9 is slightly more expensive at £869. The P20 Pro is at £799, so it's a little bit cheaper, but again, it's not a huge market leader at the moment, so you would find it a little bit cheaper than some of the top phones like Google, Samsung and Apple. So there you have it guys, so it's all a personal preference. If I'm gonna be honest, I think I like the UI a lot better on the Samsung. I think it's faster in some aspects in terms of opening up the apps, playing some games, taking pictures. It's a lot of a, it's a bit more of a smoother experience. Whereas the Huawei P20, it does take some better pictures in low lighting. The camera obviously is a lot better than any other phone out there right now. Although it depends on the lighting situations, the aperture changes and so on. And it's not to say that it takes 100% better pictures, but I think you'll find that the Samsung does do a really good job in that aspect as well, because this is still by far one of the best cameras out there. I'm gonna be giving you a quick review of picture comparisons between both of the phones. So that'll be up in my next video, so keep an eye out for that. So make sure you subscribe and catch that fairly soon. So I hope you like the comparison, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if there's any questions you have on the Huawei P20, do drop me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.